Check out this one. This is a good one. I like this. Um, this crossway has been encapsulated for about 12 years. I know I mentioned encapsulations quite a bit on my videos, but uh, you got to check this one out. This is, this is pretty good. There's a couple little things, not a big deal, but this house is, this is nice. So I always talk about encapsulations, encapsulations, but this is one of them. Give props out to the homeowner taking care of the house. And uh, check it out. I'll see you down there. Welcome back to the channel. Got ourselves another one here. All right. This homeowner told me that this house has been encapsulated about, oh, about 10, 12 years ago. You can see they put a little flap on this. Which is a good idea. Kind of helps keep the keeps the air out of the crawl space. All right. Well, I talk to you guys a lot about encapsulations. Let's see what this one's all about. Wow, this is big. Isn't it nice, tall. This is tall. I like this. All right. So the HVAC system is not down here, which you know I like that. You know they. It's up in the attic, obviously. That's one less thing that's going to get a wear and tear down here. You can tell there's some pump at one time. Yeah, it's not coming through here. See, all the, all the vents are sealed. You can see the sump pump at one time was uh, probably overflowed. And the drain might have not been working. Could have been because of the hurricane that came by and everybody was out of power. And the water was just coming in. But it looks like uh, everything's dry. Look at the size of this thing. This is nice. I'd use it for storage. There's your sun pump. That's a Zoller pump. Yeah, it looks like it definitely uh, gets some use. Uh, it's definitely working. That's a good thing. Where the pipes come in from one side of the house, crawl space, and pipes come in from the other side. Here's your... That's some pump. There's a. There's got to be another some pump at the other end right there. So that some pump over there is pumping into that one. And then that one is pumping out. Which, which is smart. You don't want to put too many holes in the house. But, uh... The only problem with that is if that one breaks down, that's going to be a lot of water going into that well. But, uh, no, nah, I mean, that's, I see that a lot. Yeah, I think that's a, uh, it is, it's a watchdog. I just, I just spoke with a, uh, with one of the guys on, uh, on the comments. He asked me to recommend a, uh, dehumidifier. Well, here you go. This is the one. Uh, this one, I'm not sure. This one looks pretty new. They might, they might have replaced this one because this one looks for sure new. It's a watchdog here. Got 57% relative humidity, which is, you know, what's good. Nice unit. I, you know, these units, I, I'm starting to see them a little bit more um, in the last... Three years, they're starting to make an impact. I'm not sure. This radon pipe is uh, has to be underneath the plastic. You can see clearly how, you know, they just drill some holes around this PVC pipe. And they run the pipe up and out of the roof of the two-story house. Quite a setup. Um, I don't know. But it definitely has to be underneath the plastic. That I do know for a fact. But this is an encapsulated crawl space. I talk about this quite a bit. Um, that this is the way to this is the way to do it. I just don't like the plastic going all the way up the piers. We have a big termite problem in these areas. You want to be able to inspect clearly what's going on everything 
I've seen termites come up behind the plastic, work their way into the wood, and you can't see it. As an inspector, you cannot see that there's termites getting into the wood because these termites are sneaky like that. And we're going to end up having bigger termite problems here pretty soon. All this hurricane, all these trees that fell down, these stumps. Oh, man, these termites are going to tear into these stumps. We're going to have some termite problems. Probably in the next five years, we'll start seeing a, yeah, here, here uh, an increase of termites. Here's that other sump pump. They got himself a little alarm there in case that sump pump overflows. Uh, something to let the homeowner know. That's another Zoller pump. I am a fan of these, man. They're quiet. Um, they're efficient, and they last a long time. You might spend a couple extra bucks, but I'm a fan of those. Uh, Liberties. Uh, Zoller, those Zoller pumps, I've, man, I've seen them down in cross spaces for years. Um, yeah, this is nice. This is exactly what I talk about in a lot of my videos. Um, encapsulated crawl space. This is needs an encapsulation. This one's a little dirty, but he's had it for you know well over a decade, and uh, I love it. It's got a French drain underneath it. Smells good down there, considering probably everything wasn't working for a week because of no power. But uh, yeah, this is this is good stuff. So every time I'm in these crawl spaces and I say, hey, yeah, this crawl space needs to get encapsulated, this is what it is. I don't know what this funk is, but it feels a little sticky. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's strange. Yeah, it's sticky. Hmm. Don't know. I can't explain that. But this is a nice, big, big, big crawl space. I use this for storage for sure. I could do these crawl spaces all day long. Right on pipe underneath the plastic. Other than that, everything looks good. I like this. It's good to see these houses. Check out my channel. See ya.